The Trapper Trapper mains are the classic. Either you just started playing or you're a veteran that's been playing for ages. They are all patient. Not because this character rewards patience with a good setup, but because you have been waiting 7 years for behavior to finally buff this character. And yet, you still don't start the game with all bear traps in your inventory by default. Despite wanting behavior to change the trapper, you haven't changed your build yourself for months and you feel adventurous anytime you remove corrupt intervention from it. The Wraith I'm going to be honest, being a Wraith main in 2023 and 2024 is like playing Mario Kart and choosing Mario with the standard kart. Seriously, Wraith is the easiest and most safe pick there is. It's the pick for those that are super vanilla and think that mayo is too spicy. Some of you probably only play Wraith to tunnel survivors and spam your bell to be toxic, or you just want to play in autopilot mode since you don't want to invest much mental power in your matches. Of course, there is an extremely high chance you will be running Sloppy Butcher and maybe Hex Noed. The Hillbilly Hillbilly mains are based. I can't say anything negative about them because it takes some guts to main a killer that is so difficult and punishing to use. Also, hillbilly mains are by far the closest you can get to a cult, because everyone knows each other, they are the most willing to help you learn hillbilly and become better at the game, all of them know the struggle of being a hillbilly main, and if behavior dares to nerf even the least used add-on from him, there will be riots. The Nurse I know that a lot of nurse mains have the stereotype of being absolute soulless tryhards that feel no emotion after winning 500 matches in a row with the exact same playstyle, skin and build every match, and then go to Twitter to complain that survivors DC the moment they hear the nurse screech. But there is also a small minority that only plays nurse because they like her Victorian visual aesthetic and are also into choking. The shape. Michael Myers mains, I feel like they are the old heads of the game. They are most likely the players with the most amount of age by average, are married and have children, and they consider Halloween to be an all-time classic for the horror genre, to the point they know Myers doesn't look very movie accurate. The true Myers mains will also try to make the match as terrifying as possible for survivors, even going into roleplay a bit. The Hag You can't call yourself a Hag main if your Hag doesn't look like the craziest abomination ever conceived, that's half the gameplay of the Hag, as the other half is just trying to use your traps in a smart way at the start of the match, only to end up trap camping the first survivor you down with 4 traps all over the hook and god forbid if you have the basement nearby. But camping is not why you play the hag, you play her because the satisfaction of instantly hitting a survivor after they get jump scared is so rewarding. The Doctor I personally have never met any Doctor mains in all the time I have been playing the game, but for some reason I find that the Doctor is that character that annoying people use. I am serious. There is something about a power that disables your interactions and a power that helps you find players with the press of a button all while they keep screaming that is just perfect for those that want to open the game and be the reason some survivors DC that day. The Huntress Huntress is that character that anyone can enjoy and the peak of power design in my opinion. You can be new at the game and find her so cool that you decide to main her or you could have thousands of hours in the game and constantly show your orbitals and snipes on Twitter and YouTube. And when you get those Hunter's mains as a survivor, you will finally see the game as a horror experience, since you never know where the next hatchet will come from. Also, you absolutely despise distortion, and you will groan anytime you don't see all four survivor auras at the start of the match with lethal pursuer. The Cannibal Boba mains never take the game seriously. They know they have the stereotype of being campers and tunnelers and they are proud of it. If you think the anti-camp system harmed them, you are wrong, as they have adapted 
to camp from afar, which is stronger anyways. At least that's from a survivor's point of view, because I know some Boba mains have honor and they know he's actually a really strong chase killer. The Nightmare Originally, I just wanted to make fun of Freddy mains because basically nobody plays him and he's so boring to play. But truth be told, I think being a Freddy main is already depressing enough knowing that not only you are probably never getting any cosmetics, you are also not getting the original Robert Englund version of Freddy, complete with voice lines unlike Chucky. I just hope that one day I look back at this part of the video and it has aged like milk and that the future rework they are cooking for him makes him finally so fun to play that you no longer feel shame in being called a Freddy main. The Pig I am sure that you are the first one in the room to laugh at a nerf the pig and boop the snoot joke and you are definitely not tired of hearing it constantly anytime any topic related to the pig comes out in an online discussion. You are also probably pissed that pig mains have such a bad stereotype of being Freddy Kruegers in real life since pig is a fun character to play with. The Clown Clown mains are the first ones that drastically change depending on their loadout. Some clown mains are chill, they find his laughing after every hit fun, and the fact that he has a super easy power to play with makes him easy to pick and play for when you just want to play some matches in DVD. But then we have the true clown mains, those that use the most busted perks like save the best for last combined with rapid brutality with the hindered add-ons and that have amazing precision with the bottles, which make the match for survivors absolute misery. But you don't care, since after all, Clown is considered low tier, so nobody has the right to complain and you feel empowered when they do so. The Spirit I'll say it, I think the players that still use Spirit nowadays after all her nerfs are actually based. Yeah, she is strong, but she is not free as she used to be so if you still play her regularly, that's because you actually enjoy playing as a scary ghost that can teleport with such high speed and love her visual design and cosmetics. You also probably have the breathing and moaning of all survivors ingrained in your brain after chasing them and hearing them for so long. Too bad that she is an accessibility problem because her entire gameplay is sound based. The Legion the Legion mains change drastically depending on who you are maining. If you are a Frank main, you are probably constantly asking the devs to add pools of blood during Frenzy. If you are a Julie main, you have good taste. If you are a Susie main, then you are either an e-girl or a weeb. And if you like Joey, you are edgy, but you have good taste. However, what you all have in common is that I can guarantee you have used the Legion as a profile picture in some social media at some point or you straight up tried to cosplay as them during Halloween or thought about it. The Plague All Plague main started as just regular DVD players who bought her because she had good perks, found the idea of playing as a tall lady from the past that can vomit on survivors as fun, only to end up falling in love with how unique her gameplay is compared to the rest of the cast. You also know her entire speech and can hear it in your mind whenever she performs this animation. The Ghostface Ghostface mains have a lot of variety inside their group as they heavily depend on the cosmetics they use. The vast majority of Ghostface use the classic robes with the what's up mask and they will play chill and sometimes just do fun shenanigans with the survivors. Then there are the devil face masks and those are tryhards that will play with the most busted add-ons, will have you 99% constantly so you get insta down without even noticing and they will say GG in the end game chat. Finally, we have the viper mask ghost face and those are the most edgy ones, most toxic and most likely to buy an injected account with hacks. If you use any of the other masks, you automatically turn into the casual Ghostface main. The Demogorgon Kinda crazy how when I made my first video, Demogorgon mains were extinct. 
and now we have a huge influx of new potential Demogorgon mains that are positive and they are probably the happiest mains in the entire game. However, there is a small group of hardcore Demogorgon mains who are extremely mad at me right now. Why you might ask? Because I intentionally chose save the best for last for my build and for those players this is a worse fate than death. The Executioner, be honest with me, when was the last time you heard someone say that they are a pyramid head main? Exactly, they are the silent but deadly types that no survivors complain about because pyramid head is regarded as strong but not overpowered since he has no add-ons to abuse and talking about add-ons, you probably only use the range add-ons for pyramid and you have all 3 outfits for him already purchased. Also, they still cannot forgive behavior for nerfing his rear muscles. The Oni Some players see Oni as sweat lords that want to play a strong killer without them being S tier and also that they are constantly slugging survivors and cannot get any less than a 4k. For others, Oni mains are giga chats that enjoy playing DVD to become better with the flicks and crazy plays and will never tunnel or camp. The only thing in common between these two is that both are weebs that will probably have anime avatars in their discord accounts. The Dead Slinger Slinger mains are just refined Huntress mains. They feel like the next step in the evolution. For those who want the same satisfaction of hitting survivors from afar but didn't have enough with just throwing hatchets. No, slinger mains want to shoot guns instead of throwing axes and they will know every single crack in the map where you can get a spicy shot and if they do get one, don't worry, you will know as they will post that clip on every single piece of social media they have. The Blight What can I not say about the Blight? They are the killer equivalent of tryhard Nias with neon clothing. They are extreme sweat lords that will constantly use one of their busted add-ons that are still not nerfed to this day. They will play with some extreme filters in order to see survivors better. They are constantly recording so they can post their clips on YouTube with funk and trap background music and they will kiss the floor where Lilith Omen stepped on and will treat every single word he says as if it was gospel. The Twins There are two types of Twins mains. The first one is the Twin main that is a fun streamer and loves to snipe survivors with the gremlin and will constantly post her amazing shots on social media. The second type of Twins mains is the one that posts very interesting in-depth lore dives of the characters of Dead by Daylight and lately has started to play School Merchant and enjoys her a lot. You might be wondering why these descriptions are so specific. Well, that's because there are literally two twins mains in the entire community because no one wants to play this glitch fest of a character that even behavior knows is messed up. The Trickster Trickster is like the ugly duckling of Dead by Daylight. He was considered as one of the weakest and most unfun characters in the game thanks to his broken kit, but there were still people that maimed Trickster because of his visuals and the charisma he uses and now post rework he is strong as hell, easy to play and suddenly everyone now treats Trickster like an actual killer and not a joke. But you are sad because you love the Trickster more when he was an ugly duckling. The Nemesis Nemesis gives me Golden Retriever vibes in the fact that they are just tunneling players that don't do it intentionally to be toxic, but just because they are programmed to tunnel and camp and nothing more. If you are a nemesis main, share the nicknames you gave to your zombies in the comments as I would like to see who has the craziest names out there. The Cenobite Cenobite mains are actually very smart because they are playing a different game than most. The rest of killers have to defend generators and find survivors, but you also have to play the box metagame and slow the game down by making the correct choices and having enough precision with your chains. Funnily enough, I am sure not a lot of Cenobite mains have watched the original films, but you will constantly quote the Cenobite in your matches. 
Also, you're still waiting for Behavior to add Butterbean and female Cenobite as skins. The Artist There aren't many artist mains, which is surprising considering her visual design being so cool and how strong she actually is. But hey, that means Behavior is not going to rework or do any changes anytime soon, and I know you're happy about it because she is downright obnoxious to play against, but I'll let it slide because there are some cool artist mains that try to snipe and use her birds in a really flashy way. Something I did notice is that all artist mains have the best fashion sense in the entire game, and I must assume that they dress well in real life too. The Onryo Sadako mains are a species in danger of extinction, since her rework has completely butchered the character and the reason why so many played her thanks to the skill expression that she lost now. But you're probably happy that Sadako is getting changed soon. The only Sadako players that still main her are those that enjoy how brain dead she is to play against solo survivors, but hey, at least they nailed her visual design and sound design, and you will never be tired of condemning survivors with that cool animation. The Dredge Dredge mains are those obsessed with monsters and being scary, but they also find monsters to be arousing, so that's why they are also obsessed with the Xenomorph Queen. Also, you cannot call yourself a Dredge main if you didn't buy every single cosmetic of theirs. There is nothing more satisfying than randomly catching a survivor inside a locker, but there is also nothing more frustrating than teleporting to the wrong locker while you are in a chase and have to wait the entirety of the slow animation just to wait for the teleport cooldown to come back. The Mastermind You cannot call yourself a Wesker main if you didn't make him your entire online personality and you constantly remind everyone that you are a Wesker main by repeating the exact same quotes 24-7. Also, don't you dare use the Loose Crank add-on, because you will get cancelled that same day by the Council of Wesker mains that know how to Eurobend, Rebound, Hug Tech, Gorbachev Slide Tech, and Skinny Wesker Tech. Also, you try to parody his voice at least once in your life. Don't try to lie to me. The Knight Okay, can we all agree that the aesthetics of the Knight are really cool? Even if their power is not that good for the game, the design is so cool that I am sure there are night mains that only like him because of the visual and sound design. However, there are two things you need before you can call yourself a true night main. The first one is that you need to never unequip Map of the Realm as an add-on since it's so good and feels needed. The second part is that you must know the real name of each of the guards. If you don't, then you are not a knight main. By the way, post editing Minskull here, so they just kill switch the knight, and I must assume you knight mains are so pissed that so many of the community are celebrating it. So yeah, feels bad. The school merchant. Don't call yourself a school merchant main if you don't have your hooks covered in pride flags, because that's the first step in being a school merchant main. The second step is making her be your entire personality just like Wesker mains, but this time fight anyone who dares to call Skull Merchant boring despite you knowing very well that her power was flawed from the start. And I don't count post rework Skull Merchant mains as real, because if you couldn't handle her at her worst, you don't deserve her at her best. Jokes aside, I think the only thing I can say that will resonate with actual school merchant mains is that nobody understands why she didn't get any voice lines. Even the Lyra twins did, and they are survivors. The Singularity Singularity mains are the equivalent of Rick and Morty fans, where they think you need a high IQ in order to play him well, and that he is secretly an S or A tier when played right. Only this time, they are actually right, because you need other role or have the mental capacity of a quantum computer in order to play him well and get the exact same results as you would just playing anyone else. So if you're wondering why there are so little singularity mains, 
you know why now. The Xenomorph. Xenomorph mains are just like Michael Myers mains, in the part where most of you probably are old and have a stable marriage, but this time you're more of a sci-fi movies than horror fan. Xenomorph mains have probably been asking for this DLC for so long, so most of you are pretty happy, despite the community not liking the power of the alien and also the fact that Ellen doesn't have her likeness. And then there are those of you that are still mad at behavior because they removed the ability to hit survivors behind walls by curving the tail from the top. Also, there is no chance you haven't bought one of the skins for them, like the Queen or Great Xenomorph, and most likely your second most wanted DLC is the Predator. The Good Guy Chucky is one of the most fun characters to be ever added in the game, all with the cool voice lines, the fun third person view that makes him so unique, and I am sure some of you haven't even watched the original movies, yet you find Chucky to be so fun that you are considering it. However, as of making this video, Chucky was hit with an unexpected nerf that has united all Chucky mains against behavior, because everyone can agree the problem was the scamper boring gameplay and not the Chucky flicks. Either that or you're just playing Chucky right now because he is the newest character to be added to the game and you will probably main whoever comes next for a week.